and hello McFly. I do believe I am live on EV Blog 2. See if anyone turns up. Let me have a look. Let me have a look see. Some people get alerted. Not everyone, apparently. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. Yes. Live. Live, live, live. 17 people. Not oh. Everyone. I better shut myself up there. Hey, everyone. Sorry, I'm uh, just going to do some uh, housekeeping. I'm actually going to announce this on... I'm going to create a post. Um on the new community section of EV blog. Um, playing with KiCad. This could get ugly. <laughs> and I will post the link. There you go. It's now on my community tab. I'll post it on uh, the Twitters, the tweets, the Twitterverse. If I can figure out where I. Okay. And tweeted. All right. Okay. Hello everyone. This is not a live, not meant to be a live show, but somebody suggested that I should uh, stream it. So here I am. I'm streaming it. So I'm going to install KeyCAD. So let me start. I'm downloading 4.07. It's the latest version they had on their website. I know I mentioned this on Twitter and somebody already complained, oh, I should be using version 5 or something. Well, sorry, but that's the latest that's on the website and I'm not going to dick around. <clears throat> so I want everything. Yep, I'm going to install this sucker. Space required, a whopping 3.2 gig. What does Altium take these days? It doesn't take a huge amount more. I don't think. Six, maybe? Something like that. Like like the download is like 2 gig or something. Uh, I'm not sure about the new 18, but uh, anyway, there we go. We're installing KiCad. None of this KiCad rubbish. Hey, everyone, what I'll do is I'll just swap screens here because it's going to be easier for me. Nope. It's not easy to manage live streams, you know. Not easy at all. Okay, I'm going to pop out that chat. I've now got a big-ass chat window there. I'm now on uh, Discourse. Somebody suggested Discourse. I jumped on there. Somebody gave me a walkthrough, but yeah, they reckon it's a good chat system, but I don't know. It's like, it's just one more thing to manage. You know, when you're doing a live show, you've got to have the YouTube live uh, chat as well, of course. You have to. Yeah, use version 5. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I've already done it. Yeah, I did a KiCad video ages ago, like first use, and this is going to be a first use. So, up front, if you don't like me dicking around with the software, haven't read the manual, haven't researched anything, diddly squat, if you don't like me doing that and making countless mistakes, leave now. <laughs> no bitching. Um, <clears throat> well, first use of new one, you know, like I totally forget. It was how many years ago was that? I totally forget. Um, for J four K C thirty two, you gotta have a more usable name, uh, username than that. <coughs> Discord. Yeah, I keep calling it discourse. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> Czech Republic. Discord is for gamers. Yeah, Pff, whatever. IRC. Pff. All the fanboys jump in. <coughs> Anyway, yeah, I've used it, but I, I totally forget. So I've got, I got no idea. And it's probably changed very substantially since then. 
what was geez this install's taken a while isn't it and got a lot of individual a lot of um uh, pngs there and stuff like that wow i suspect it might be a faster install if they didn't actually display them all <laughs> I, I i wrote a program it was an eprom burner program from donkey's years ago to to edit or create 3d object need to install wink 3d um yeah okay no check this box to open no i don't wish to do that okay so if i now type keycad oh yep there's just the one app <clears throat> that's new isn't it wasn't there didn't there used to be all separate <clears throat> the separate programs in the windows thing anyway um and yeah all the armchair experts will uh tell me what i'm doing wrong i'm sure so sorry if i don't look at the chat and you're screaming at me if there's a hundred people screaming at me click here click here do this well you know i'm just having fun dicking around sue me now the reason i'm doing this <clears throat> i should tell the reason why i'm doing it is because i've got an idea for a video another one on the gigatron i know i like i i don't know it's not that I'm obsessed with the Gigatron. It just like it's just this nice example landed in my lap of a you know a, a large through hole, large number of TTL chips, entirely digital board. And I keep thinking of use cases for this. And I've got another video where I want to actually compare the two layer board that it is to a four layer board. Um, for EMC and various signal integrity and various other things. So what I want to do is actually take the Gigatron PCB files and um, should I make my little head bigger there? Probably not. I'm only recording on a <clears throat> 1920 by 1080 screen. Don't have a lot of real estate to work with. Anyway, I get sidetracked. The um... <coughs> sorry, I still got an annoying cough, residual cough. From being sick the other week um yeah i want to do i so i want to take the files from the gigatron which are two layer files and simply convert it to a four layer board change nothing i don't want to change any of the signal layers nothing um i'll keep all the chips in the same location um and uh yeah anyway um no i'm not going to try the new dip trace i've got too many other things to do at the moment um oh yeah eprom <laughs> Like, I start things and then get sidetracked and then I never get back to them. Um, EEPROM burner software that I used to sell donkeys years ago. Um, I wonder why it was so slow. And I figured it out that I was actually writing every address to the screen. Right? I was, you know, like currently programming or reading a address, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then up in hex or whatever. And I was, I was writing to the screen every time. And it turns out it, the algorithm used to write to the screen, this was written in uh, Turbo um, Ball and Pascal 7. No, not 7. Um, that's basic QBS. Basic PDS 7.1 I'm thinking of. Sorry. No, I th no, did I write in basic or Pascal? I think it was in Pascal. Anyway. Wrote it in uh, Ball and Pascal and whatever, you know, the screen routine to, for writing to the screen, it was slow. And that's what was slowing down my program was the fact that I was writing each address to the screen. So when I simply um, buffered like 10 of them, waiting until and updated like 10 at a time, do, 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 it went 10 times faster. <laughs> like, lesson learned, you know. Um, I don't know if Chris Gamble's here, but he would hate that I'm doing this. He would hate that I'm haven't prepared for it. I'm not using the latest version five with all the whiz bang features. Whatever. <laughs> Too bad, Chris. <clears throat> okay. Oh God, how many? Hang on, I've got too many. Too many Explorer windows open. All right. So, um, Gigatron. Yeah, guys who did the Gigatron, kindly, um, even though it's not open source hardware yet, it will be open source hardware, but it's not yet. They actually, um, they kindly sent me the files. I told them what I wanted to do. And they said, yeah, no worries, here you go. And so they gave me all the files, and here they are. Um, 
that's everything. It's in the Gigatron uh, Fallout. Yeah, I've, I've I've made a copy of it. And um, yeah, it looks like they've got some uh, the Gerbers DB15's got its own subdirectory mod. Is that, it's got a big is that a, like a 3D file or something? And uh, <clears throat> anyway, all dot sketch are obviously um, schematic files. And uh, there's the main PCB file, 1.5 meg, keycad underscore PCB. <laughs> I don't know why these didn't put PCB because it could be confused with other. Obviously, but why would .sch? I mean, that that's an Altium extension, you know. Like it could be confused with Altium. Anyway, Gigatron. Um, so is there like a project file? Where's the project file? I assume there's a project file, and it will open, or is it still compartmentalized software where it's um schematic? Um, you know, like you just have to load them all in separately and then do it later. Surely there's a. Uh, there's a per sketch and sketch back gigatron dot back dsn data source name that sounds like it could be it gigatron dot net altium netlist file <laughs> gigatron png there it is Ta -da. <coughs> so i want to uh, convert this baby so can someone tell me i'm assuming that like the dsn is a um, data source name file type dot pro everyone's telling me it's the pro it's the pro oh project pro for project okay that makes sense okay there's the first problem it has not associated the file names hasn't associated dot pro with projects so the first thing I'm going to try is can I drag it in no no first fail so not only does the install not um, uh, associate the um, extensions, um, but it doesn't let me just drag it in. So yeah, how like I've got to actually like it's just like crazy that I've got to actually um, uh, open project, you know. Oh sorry, and um, Gigatron dot pro. There it is. I could have answered my own question by just going open project and seeing what the <laughs> what the uh, file types were. So hey, there we go. That was quick. I like that. I don't like the uh, render bug. Look at that. It's a horrible render bug. Wow. That's terrible, Muriel. Wow. Is that a thing specific to my um? Drag keycad to the bin and install. <laughs> Dip trace fanboys in the house. No, I'm not going to use the nightly build. No, 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 no. Bugger off. I'm not using the nightly build. I don't care. Because then I'll get people complaining uh, because I found a bug in it. Oh, you shouldn't have used the nightly build. You should have used the stable build. So I'm like, you know, I'm screwed either way. It doesn't matter. People are going to complain. So anyway, I'm down. I'm using the version that was the stable version that was on the website. Sue me. I don't care. I just want to get a job done. Um, right. So, Gigatron PCB. We've got our net file. We've got our schematic file. I assume that's like the top level schematic. Let's check it out. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, okay. It opens up a separate uh, separate doodad. There you go. Let's see if the... Oh, yeah. The, um, the mousey scroll wheel. Works in now. I can't. I can't drag it. How how do I drag it? How do I drag it? Is there a draggy thing? That's annoying. I can't use like I can't uh, let a uh, right click and uh, drag. I, I I like to right click. Okay, right click calls up your menu. Okay. Oh, and then when you're over an object like that, which is an image. Okay, so they've done that as an image. That's pretty neat. And then uh, see how do we like. Hierarchical sheet PCR. Clarify selection. What does that mean? Hierarchical sheet PC. See why? Why can't I just double click on that and go to the sheet? <coughs> Middle mouse. Push scroll wheel to drag. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I hate pushing the scroll wheel. I'm not. 
a pushy scroll wheel person. <clears throat> but okay, no, I'm a I'm a right click drag guy. Sue me. <clears throat> I guess the person who people persons peeps who wrote this. Um, ah, see, why can't I like just go in there and or, or do I have to click on that one too? Do I have to like you know? Yeah, like why why can't I go to that sheet? No, uh, don't, don't, don't hit the text. I <laughs> Come on, seriously? <laughs> don't hit the text. Okay, thanks. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> there you go. Yeah, they mentioned in there, oh, God, here I am. Like, either hold down control and, and I'm still getting used to the, no, nah, I, I, I don't like the, yeah, no, it, it just doesn't feel right to my fingers. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah, they, they talked about this booster. They needed extra drive on here. Okay, I was wondering what they were talking about. I haven't seen the schematic for this yet. Looks like they're talking about 74HCT04. And uh, got a little cheat in there, a little delay. Usually, put an, usually you don't put capacitance straight on the output. Usually you put a, a series resistor in there. Even if it's uh, even if it's zero ohms, but um, okay. <clears throat> yep. All right. So how do I go back? How do I how do I go back to my sheet? Hide grid. No. Got our dot grid. How do I go back to my hierarchical sheet? You can edit the hotkeys. Yeah. 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 Bite me. I'm not going to edit the hotkeys. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, and you can't do the scroll until you've gotten until you've gotten rid of that window. Okay. Right. And there's all our bypass caps. There's our there's our months uh months's delight. <clears throat> so yep. Oh, they've even put some descriptive text. A decoupling or bypass capacitor in close proximity to every IC's power pin provides transient current when switching between logic levels. Very nice. Very nice. Go back between loop and library icon. What's a loop? As you know, that's like a, a loop, a jeweler's loop. Library icon. I don't know what you're talking about. Loop and library icon. Um, uh, Library editor, no. Navigate schematic higher. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. That's all right. Don't mind that. Okay, I don't know how to get back to that page, but whatever. <clears throat> <coughs> Library supporting keycap. Well, DigiKey just added a zillion parts or something, so that's got to be good, but doesn't matter what you do with libraries, you get people bitching. So, anyway, yes, I haven't really had a detailed look at the schematic. There you go, geez. Oh, I'm, just, I'm doing the control thing for Zoom. Got to get used to that. And uh, there are. Uh, yeah, yeah, they've done it right. They've laid this out fairly well. Don't mind that at all. See, why, if I click on that, and I click on that, why do I have to double-click that? Just take me to it. Like, I don't, like, high, high, highlighting that does absolutely nothing. That's a wasted mouse click. Totally wasted mouse click. <clears throat> so, yeah, don't, don't like that at all. Minor thing, but, you know, minor things matter. Anyway. All right, there you go. Okay, how do I get back? How do I get back to my project thingamabob? It's not a... Oh, there we go. Oh, well, yeah, that's that's the schematic. So I'll leave the schematic off to the side there. All right. And uh, the old silo-based approach that Altium hated. They moved away from the silo. I remember the big to-do at the time. <clears throat> Engineers work in silos. We have to stop that. <laughs> and part of that was having it all in one program and not separate windows pop up and everything else. 
high high hierarchical sheets are good, especially if it has good support for high hierarchical sheets. And it's you know like it 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 does the business. I mean that's a you know there's the hierarchical sheet symbol. That's like I didn't even have to navigate over that to know pretty much what that was. So ah oh, there we go root. Okay yeah right duh and um yeah no it's good. It defines them all. It ties them all together and. Uh, and you can then uh, duplicate stuff and reuse stuff and all sorts of things. It's pretty handy, hierarchical design. Sometimes it just gets in the way, but other times, what's 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 this symbol up here? Go away. Plot schematic. Oh, as oh, it's a Roland plotter. It's a pen plotter. I wondered what that symbol was. It's a pen plotter. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> all right. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> it just looked weird. I I should have I should have registered earlier. That that's what it was. Once I saw the word plot, yep. That's that's kind of old school. I like that. Anyway, not not here to dick around with the uh, schematic. <clears throat> oh, potato logic. Speaking of which, um. <clears throat> I am not complaining at all, Dave. Twenty eighteen. What <laughs> is it going to be a quote on their website on the Keycap website now? Is it? <clears throat> um, yeah, I just actually got sent some potato semi chips. I don't. I haven't opened it yet, but I was going to do a video on that. I I presume either somebody ordered them and sent them into the mailbag, um, or actually potato semiconductor themselves sent them in. So yeah, yeah, I, I want to do that. Yeah, I want to. I don't know what chips they sent. Yeah, you know, just some seven four series logic. Yeah, they've only got like half a dozen gates or something. Anyway, PCB. Right. So this is going to. Uh, so what does the netlist look like? A double click on the netlist. I can't edit in text editor. Why not just open a text editor? Because I haven't defined no default text editor. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know why they can't have a text editor built in. <clears throat> oh, it's extra work, you know. Everyone's got their favourite external text editor, I guess. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, I wonder if, like, if um. See, I don't like that. It like I've got to go through and navigate to, like um. <clears throat> I'd, I'd have to go through and find Notepad plus plus. Like, where's where's Notepad plus plus or whatever? Program files. Is it Notepad plus plus? Notepad plus plus. There you go. Notepad plus plus. Boom. Hey, I'm in like Flynn. Look at that. There you go. Notepad plus plus is now my preferred. It doesn't even know um, uh, that. Um, Yes, Marcel is the one who sent it to me. Thank you very much. Export version D. <clears throat> it's got a... Uh, oh, no, no, that's not a direct... Uh, that is a uh, that is a relative path. It's not a direct uh, path. There you go. Someone want to write support for Notepad++ for you know, <laughs> .NET files or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> all right. Other options do we hear? Okay, so can we edit the sketch file? Okay, does that use the new um, um, e, e schema schematic file version two? Is that the new um? Is that the new stand? No, no, no. It's um, that's not the XML thing, is it? No, no, no. Look, it's going into the it's going into the data. Okay, what format is that? KeyCAD's got its own format, does it? <clears throat> Every CAD package takes some getting used to, Max. It's no, you know. <clears throat> oh, everyone. Oh, Vim editor. Everyone's got all the fanboys, all the editors, fanboys are coming out now. <clears throat> yeah, very Unixy. Yeah. Why am I hurting you, Charles? Yeah, well, look, anyone who. This is me dicking around with the software. I have not used it in many years. 
I totally forget and I have not read any documentation or watched any tutorials at all. It's me just playing around with it. Just dicking around. Because I think it's fun. You shouldn't have to read the manual first. You should be able to get in there and figure it out. If I can't, then it's crap. <clears throat> anyway, is that... Yeah, that's, that's not the new um, XML format, is it? Nobody? Bueller? Bueller? <clears throat> Thank you, G. Brown. Excellent work. The planned file standard is based on the S expression style format. Now, yeah, I have no idea what that is. Only PCB new supports the n yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Playing around and upsetting fanboys. You betcha. There's some perks of my job, and one of them is is annoying fanboys <laughs> and pissing people off. It keeps me sane. It's great fun. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Anyway, um, geez, I haven't even opened the uh, PCB file yet. <clears throat> PCB new. Yeah, okay, that, that's all. That's all readable. Look at that. Whereas the other one was binary. The schematic was like binary stuff it just got into a da oh, yeah no okay no there we go yeah you know it's passable as in passing you know you can put it through a parser to whatever that's groovy <coughs> okay yeah but yeah i the the xml dreams never going to happen like every cad program under the sun supports the xml standard whatever it is sorry i forget and uh, you know, and it supports it seamlessly, and then you can just seamlessly trans, uh, you know, transfer between KiCad and Eagle and Altium and DipTrace. It's just, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. The the utopia doesn't exist. Anyway, you have run PCB new for the first time using the new footprint library table method. Okay. PCB new has either copied the default table or created an empty table. Blah blah. You must first configure the library table to include all footprint libraries you want to use. Why do I have to do that? See the footprint library section of the CV PCB. See what's CV PCB? This means nothing to me. <clears throat> and PCB new is like like that means nothing to me either. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're in like Flynn. Here we go. Keeps popping up on my... Uh, well, no, my middle screen is my default screen. I'm actually capturing my second screen here. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to read the freaking manual. Oh, you're off. No fun in that. All right, they've got themselves the... Okay, so we're into the... Oh, I did it again. I did the scrolly thing again. Whoa, oh, that's a bit slow. That's a bit slow. Wow, no. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty slow. Don't don't like that. Don't like that. And I don't like the way that um, you know, it doesn't show me, you know, what you see is what you get. I want to see my damn pad. Like I just don't I don't want to see like a like where's the where's the video pad there? Like I don't I don't... Ah, no, I can't. Jeez, okay. Anyway, it's a bit sluggish. Mainly, maybe because I'm capturing the screen. I don't know, but it seems to be a bit sluggish. Anyway, I don't like how the uh, vias are represented there. That's for sure. Yeah, no, I see, I need a better mouse for mouse clicking. One with like a real... Like a softer touch. By the time I click on something, it's like the mouse can move or whatever. I don't like that. Anyway, so it's snapping. Can I like go select clarification? Oh yeah, that that's all right. Yeah, because I double clicked on there. There's three objects under there. That's good. Selection clarification. Oh right, that that's a. I clicked on that before for the schematic. That's actually a just a heading. So why? Yeah, it's a, it's a heading. So why does it select as a heading? 
like it that it, it's like for a first time user it's like oh i can click on selection clarification and it, no it just shuts it down <clears throat> so that's you know that's a bit uh, oh hello see like it doesn't even like i've like i'm selecting my via right and like and nothing like it doesn't highlight why like you know why see like why why can't I just like select like if I click on something I want it to select maybe I've got to shift it or something someone will tell me someone will bitch that I'm oh what what happened there is that is that now selected what did I ch <laughs> I ch I changed the trace there can I control Z that yeah you betcha I have no idea how I changed the width of that trace that's disturbing F11. What does F11 do? Oh, there you go. F11. Right. F11 is the preview thing. Is is that um, needs? <coughs> Who needs manuals? Live stream and ask the audience. <coughs> F11. Okay. So what what mode was I in? And and has it changed the um? Hang on. So so why can't F11 change it back? F11's not a toggle. Selection is not a part of KeyCAD. It's all bloody shortcut keys. Screw that. Seriously, like. Oh, there we go. Okay, now that's, that that doesn't. Okay, now we're doing it. There we go. No so, selections a thing. There you go. Okay, this is as work working exactly as I expect. Now there you go. There you go. That's what I want. Bobby Dazzler. Okay, and it's faster. It's faster. It's faster in F11. So what is that other mode? Can someone tell me what that other mode is? Because not only is it slower, but it doesn't show you what you want to see <clears throat> f9 to f11 right you're right okay so are these modes selectable on the side what are these things actually called what am i uh does f10 do it no okay so f9 and f11 are the go okay so f9 is much slower and doesn't provide the same level of detail you need when you're bloody editing a board that's just n n no thanks i'm going f11 all the way with lbj there we go that's exactly what you want it's exactly what i want okay now it's looking like a real cad program i like the net names do the net names um oh, i did it again um, they're not, you know, they're sort of the text is like going outside of that, so they don't scale as nicely, um, and and they don't. Oh yeah, they do vanish at a certain point. That's good to reduce the clutter. Once you get down to a certain font size, they will, uh, but they don't seem to go smaller. I'd like, to, I'd probably like to see those go smaller. Scale that text scale smaller as you zoom in like that. Um, yeah, I definitely would like to see that. Anyway, can I just double click on a pad? You bet your ass I can. Uh, there we go. Pad type, through hole, beauty. <clears throat> SMD connector, non plated through, me uh, uh, the mechanical hole. It's got all the options you need. So, um, you can just manually dick around, technical layers. What? <laughs> Ad, I'm going to assume that ADHES is adhesion layer, and that's the no, that's the paste. No, they've got paste. And what's? Uh, and, oh, have they labelled this? Is this like um as part of the project, or is that the default keycad labels? <clears throat> oh, am I going to elongate the pads? No, no, I'm not. <clears throat> uh, 
Anyway, um, orientation, you know, that's local clearance. Oh, okay, so you can set up the uh, a uh, individual clearance rule on the pad. Set fields to zero, use parent or global variables. It's all right. I like that. Okay. Bobby Dazzler. All right. I'm liking this F. No, nobody told me what the F11 mode was called, right? <clears throat> Go try to find the thermal relief options. <laughs> I be I assume it's really hard, and I'm going to, like, spit the dummy to try and find the thermal relief option. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Well, look. Here's a via. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. see, that's jumped around. This is why I don't like... I, I don't like the way it does this. I... I no. Okay, and, and also, if I move my cursor over to this side here, and then I scroll wheel, it centers to that point. I like that. Kind of. It'll annoy me sometimes, but when you want to focus on an object, it's good. So can you, like, do shift and then... Ah, shift takes you up and down instead of in and out control left and right yeah all right i'll pay that so hello i want to edit that via where the hell's my edit window oh right no okay see i don't i want to double click i want to double click i want to edit that via i presume it's possible there you go like that. So I don't like the fact that I can't double click on that. It it should know that I've double clicked and I should be able to select the via and it should open that edit window. That that is wrong. That is wrong. And nah, see it should do exactly that except give the extra step of selecting of, of choosing the object you want because you've got more than one object let's try it down here if i go over this pad so i've got two objects there i've got the trace and the pad no no it's because i've selected i've selected the via okay so maybe i've got to select see i can't even select and double click that is just wrong that's oh is there a trace in there it's made up of traces it's wrong yeah press e Okay, but no, it should double click, right? That is not consistent behavior between the individual object and the multiple layered objects. It's inconsistent and I don't like it and I think it's wrong. Change it. Now, can, here's a test. Does anyone know? Because I'm going to ask because I'm not going to be able to figure it out on my own. Oh, yeah, no, my, is it up the top? No, it'd have to be a hotkey. I've got this edit window open. Can I switch between Imperial and Metric right here, right now, without doing anything else? Tell me. Come on, audience. Yep, it's inconsistent. Thank you, Piet. Someone agrees. I know what I'm talking about. I used to work it out here. <laughs> or right-click right the via. No, but I shouldn't have to. No, just left. No, no. Okay, everyone's telling me. Of course you can't switch there. See, in out, left side, left, left, left toolbar, left toolbar. Yeah. It's not giving me any. Oh, no, can't do it. No, see, I want to do it within this window. I've already opened the window, damn it. And I didn't like the fact that I was in uh, metric mode and I want to switch. See, in LTM, it'd be in con uh, Q, right? You just toggle or, or control Q, you can toggle and get in there, right? <clears throat> no, sorry. No, it's not. It's not. I can't do that with the window open. Sure, I can go like that. Fine. And select, okay. Select tri Trivial connection. I want to select my trivial connection. <laughs> What's a trivial connection? 
<laughs> I'm sure it makes sense in uh, in some uh, some way. E for edit. <clears throat> what what happens if I've got multiple objects selected and I press E? Anyway, there we go. We're inches. We're in like Flynn. See, I don't like. Why can't they have a you know a hotkey in the background that allows you to toggle between those modes? Yeah, you get you get what you pay for. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> yes, it does. Yep, yep. You can uh, you can use the hotkey toggle while while the window's open. <clears throat> and um, oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure I could type in a hundred mil and it'd work. I'd kind of expect that. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So if I could I could type in one. Yeah, so I'm in. Imperial, so I could type in the metric number and it would work. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. So. All right. What I want to do, where's where's my layer um, settings? Where are my layer settings? Because this is what I'm here for. I've got to watch the time too. It's already 10 p.m. here. Oh. There it is. 10 p.m. The wife let me go out. Disable auto delete. I'm just going through, having a look at things here. Uh, show views in outline mode. Oh, by the way, how many people we got? 383 people watching me make a dick out of myself. Excellent. Uh. Do, 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 do. No, you do you do get a lot for your zero dollars here. I you know, like <laughs> taking nothing away from the keycad people. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And some of the stuff they've added in is very impressive. No, it's fantastic. Hats off to everyone. Like, you know, I'm I'm just like I I'm criticizing because I'm just finding things that hopefully will be constructive feedback for them, you know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's no, dis no trace. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Look, look at that little little well in there. You've got a little etching well. There you go. Oh, trap for young players. See, when I was a boy, they would have doctors and doctor an hour's pay if you laid out a board with an et etching well like that. You've got to come in, go across, neck down, or go straight down. It's 90 degrees. You're not allowed to have anything. More than 90, anything more than 90. Allowed to have 90? Not allowed to have anything less, because the etchant, back when I was a boy, the etchant would get in there and it'd eat away the uh, tracks more. But the process is much more controlled now. It doesn't matter a rat's ass. I'm just, you know, being old school. <clears throat> Version 5 is fantastic, really. I'm sure it is. Did it, does it fix the problems that I just had, the issues I just had? Can I um, double click on a multi object, multi layered object, and have it select and open the edit box? Because <clears throat> it damn well should. <clears throat> I don't think anyone told me if that uh, ADHES was adhesion layer, <laughs> adhesive. I thought it was like paste, but there's already a. Um, and F, I, I assume F is front. I assume they've got everything. Is is this a um? Yeah, front. Uh, they they call them front and back, front and back rather than top and bottom. That'll take some getting used to. <laughs> yeah. Don't like that dialogue. Go change it. Yeah, sure. That's what I want to do. I want to go dick around with the code and recompile my own version. You know, like. <clears throat> Any anyone who does that's got too much free time on their hands. Seriously, no, should be one version that everyone uses. That's it. <clears throat> du, 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 du. <laughs> Probably a pattern they're trying to avoid. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, draw in layer. So they've got um. Anyway, how how do I get to my layers? Like, where's where's my like layer editor or whatever, so I can like turn on and off layers and stuff. Where's my layer editor? 
I'll wait. There's like a 10 second lag on the thing. Open footprint editor. Open footprint viewer. Just open footprint editor for kicks. Uh, another bloody window. Okay, whatever. Oh, I want to plot something. I want to plot something. HPGL. I want to get out. I've got no. <laughs> Do I still have my old plotter? Oh God, no, no. Surely I don't. No, I don't. I don't recall it being down in the bunker. No, nah, must have tossed it. Python scripting console. Yeah, because that's what I want. Python scripting console. I'm sure it helps a lot of people. But you know, yeah. I, I, it, it's good that it's there though. Fast access to the free route, external advanced router. Mode track. Ah, oh, that's auto routing on or off, is it? Automatic movement and placement. Show active layer selections. Ha! Found it. Didn't need people to tell me. Ah, oh, someone's complaining it's the wrong Python version. Doesn't matter what you do, people are gonna bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, layer tabs, like you know, yeah, I'd like. Um, oh no, no, duh, over here, visible layers. There's my layer stack. That's visibles. Select copper layer pair. Oh, I can, oh, hang on. Why why are we selecting pairs? Front copper. Top front they're going top slash front now. Um fuck you. <laughs> That's what <laughs> FC used. <laughs> fuck you. I'm sure many of people are joked about that. Surely. Um and book you. Um why are there um like uh, lay a pair, copper select copper layer pair. Is that for like controlled impedance calcs or something? Oh, Max, hello. Somebody did a super chat, five bucks. Thank you very much, Max. I'm going to read your um, post now. I am uh, I am overdue to buy you a coffee. Well, uh, thank you, but I don't drink coffee. So I'll spend on something else. Layers are on the right. Can also change the active layer. Yeah, thank you. I, I eventually figured it out. I wasn't looking, you know. I, I'd be doing this totally differently and totally faster and totally more efficiently if I wasn't doing running commentary. If I wasn't screen capturing this, I'd be like, just going nuts. And um, yes, of course. So, <clears throat> actually, I like that. And uh, render. Okay, right. Okay, so that's, uh, hang on. Right, so if I do the F9 thing, that turns off all the renders. Is that what it's called? That no one can tell me. No, all, all the renders are still there. All the renders are still there. Look at that. Okay, but it still doesn't. Okay, is there like a view? F9, switch canvas. Okay, it's a canvas thing to default. Oh, it's an open GL. See, I like canvas to Cairo. <clears throat> okay, Cairo's obviously. Oh, have I crashed it? Haven't not responding. Haven't crashed it, have I? Is Cairo some bloody Linux thing or something? <clears throat> no. Nah. Okay. Right, open GL. Right, because they do their rendering in open GL. Okay, but like, like it, that's just confusing to someone who's not, you know, doesn't know about graphics cards and everything else. It's like, like, like this render over here. If this render checkbox is ticked, I want it to damn well render. I don't care how slow it is. I don't care what engine it uses. I want it to render my uh, via there, right? But obviously. If we go into default, it's they're all still rendered, like you know, like yeah, no. See, it doesn't render the pad. That's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Why? Why that option even exists is is totally beyond me. I just don't. I I don't get it. It's just 
There's GPU rendering. Thank you, Arson. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's using OpenGL, but th that just should just make it faster. It shouldn't change the way it visually looks, especially for something as fundamental as your pads and your vias. I mean, uh, holy shit. You know, that's that's just ridiculous. I can't even see what size my vias are. Like, that, that, that's the whole size, presumably, isn't it? Hang on. No, that's the... No, that that's the pad size. Okay, so it's not rendering the whole. It's not rendering the whole. You know, but this is what I want to like. And and like, I assume that there's no um expansion. That there's no um expansion on that. Otherwise, it'd be visible like it is on the pad here. Like that's exactly how Altium works, and that's how any CAD package should work. If you're, you know, you should be able to see your whole which is inside your pad, you should be able to see your pad and you should be able to damn well see your solder mask if you've got your mask layer turned on, which we can turn off here, front mask. Oh, back back mask. Okay, there you go. Right, they was showing the back mask. Okay. Now, can somebody else tell me, do we have a single layer mode like in Altium? So I don't have to go... I, I know I can do a single layer by like just turning on the front you know like that but no i want like it to hide everything else to like fade out into gray and everything else to highlight in like a single layer mode does anyone know if there's an equivalent thing <clears throat> oh god richard stallman that's the uh <laughs> next thing people have mentioned hitler We'll go invoke Godwin's law. We've already invoked Stallman's law. Somebody brought up Richard Stallman in any talk about free software. How long does it take them to bring up Richard Stallman? <clears throat> press H. It's not going to... People are going to say, press this, and it's going to do something stupid. And nu Oh, there you go. That's what I want. Hidden. H H for hidden. H H for hidden, I'm assuming. Bloody ripper. Thank you. It's exactly what I wanted. Brilliant. Thank you, electrical grid. Electrical grid knows what he's talking about. H high contrast, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Nice. Nice. I don't know if the old uh keycad had that, but that's yeah. Okay, it's it's very Altium, it's very Altium like um in terms of visual. Like at the moment, you know, you could probably set up, you know, apart from the fonts and the, you know, things like you'd be kind of a little bit hard pressed to kind of immediately uh tell the difference if you um you know, were just looking at that, you know, it would be like a font thing, really. If you didn't see any of the other window, it would be like, you know, you're looking at Altium. It's good. I like it. It's very familiar. I'd have to watch my previous video. I have no idea how it how it uh, compares with the whatever version. I can't even remember which version I uh, played around with last time. And no, I didn't review it. Everyone goes, your review is shit. It wasn't a review, you dickhead. Unbelievable. Oh, another, another well in there. Another acid trap. Nothing like trapping your acid. Anyway... Right, so enough dicking around. How do I add extra layers, right? I got front copper, right? And I can select my, look at that, that's nice. I like that, the um, the high contrast mode, that's, that's, that's great. That's great. So you can immediately go to your silk, for example. You know, you can immediately go in there and, you know, this will be like your final pass. Once your board's done, you know, then, then you go in there and you... Can we just drag? Can we just drag? Please, let me just drag that. Please, let me just drag. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Yes, sorry, Bob. That's what I want. So, yeah, like once you've laid out your board, you put it into high contrast mode like this because you've got to be able to see everything else under there, but you don't want it to be in your face. So this high contrast mode is brilliant. And um, the same as the, you know, the single layer mode, I think they call it in Altium. 
and uh, and then you just go there and you and you you know move your uh, move your silk around. <clears throat> right. So how do we add um, inner planes? I want to add a power and a five volt plane, please. How do I do it? Anyone? This board is the Gigatron. There it is. The Gigatron. Come on, someone will tell me. How do I add, like, do I right click over and show all copper layers? That's all of them. Okay. Well, that's not good enough. Um. Nobody ever told me what the adhesive layer <laughs> is. Drop down design rule. Layer setup. That's what I wanted. There you go. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> Number of copper layers, four. Beautiful. Ah, oh, it doesn't even let you do oddball ones to confuse your manufacturer. I only want three copper layers, please. <laughs> Which you can. You can do it. But um, <laughs> most of the time they, they don't have the stock to do it. They don't have like a single-sided pre-preg or whatever. They'll just, you know, like they'll, they'll just have to etch away a whole layer, you know. I go, yeah, we'll charge you for it, but, you know, you know, chew up all our etchant. <clears throat> anyway, um, four copper layers, um, yep. Four layers, parts on front and back. Okay. Groovy. It's got the presets for that. That's nice. Okay. So we can change the f fuck you to, um, oh, in, in, in one, internal copper. One. Okay. Cool bananas. I'll call that ground. And I'll call that VCC. There you go. Awesome. And they should appear over here. There they are. Bobby Dazzler. Okay. H, I'm getting used to this. This could be quite usable. Okay, um, clarify selection, outline on bottom copper. Okay, so he's actually put, oh, okay, that's the, uh, that's the flood fill. Out of curiosity, can I simply drag, is it a polygon? Yeah, it's a true polygon. Can I simply drag that polygon and it re-renders? Or is it too, yes, it does. Nice. It was quick too. Very impressed by that. Okay. <clears throat> Um, right, and the other one was, uh, graphics line on edge, edge cuts. Okay, edge cuts. Oh, okay, there's a layer called edge cuts. That's interesting. There you go. There's our edge cuts. That's our board outline. I like that. I like it. Cool bananas. Hey, how big's our board? Where's, where's like board info? Where's board info? Tools. Zero. Oh, it tells you down here. 235, is it? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I can just hold down shift to select multiple things. Okay. I'm starting to like this. It's not bad at all. It's not too bad. <coughs> well, I haven't really done anything in anger yet, but you know, it's not it's not entirely pissing me off. So uh read netlist form design rule check. It's a bug. No bug. Disable design rule checking. Oh, that'd be on the fly as your route. Right, so that'd be your, uh, your your DRC. That'd be your active live DRC. 
you should route it. The microwave toolbar. Oh, it's got microwave tools. There you go. Yep. There you go. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. They, they don't have many, many elements there, but uh, polynomial shape. Uh, they, somebody went to the effort to add that though, but they then they then they didn't add many um, many uh, objects. But that's groovy. Wow. Can you like? No. Probably have to draw it on copper layer. Probably won't let me. Show high the layer manager's toolbar. Normal contrast display mode. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the... I don't... Oh, yeah, it's not a bad symbol for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's an... I can see why they've chosen that symbol. Show tar tracks in outline mode. Oh, right, yes, yeah, in outline, yeah, physical outline. Okay, so you get the... Um, Yep, they're not drawing solid. You got a slow machine or whatever. Do it old school. Yeah, you can get rid of the get rid of the polygon clutter. Yep. Okay. Alright. Oh, I'll disable that. Fill mode. Oh. oh okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Hang on. F9. No. Okay. Yeah, no. No, sorry. I got all excited that it solved that F9 problem. It didn't. All right. See fill mode. Okay, now we're back. All right, just just learning the icons. <clears throat> There's no rat's nest. Nets, nah, rat's nest left because um, it's um oh not available in OpenGL Cairo canvases. I bugger off. Come on, why should that limitation exist? That's just dumb. Okay, you can do polar coordinates for your uh, for your round boards and whatnot to get your angles. Groovy, useful for you know placing rotational components. You know, if you're doing LEDs like a LED lamp or something, and you want to place things in a rotational. Alt three is three D. Well, I've got to try that, don't I? Should should get my space navigator out. Still got my space navigator somewhere. Does anyone know if this works with the space navigator? Why is there one rat's nest? Why is there even a rat's nest? I presume that was a rat's nest. No, now it's gone. No, it's not a rat's nest. I thought that was a rat's nest. It's not. It's like a, a plain... Thing. All right. So if I like, okay, there we go. Groovy. Okay, I like that. It's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Can we fly into the board? No, nah, doesn't let us fly into the board. <laughs> it doesn't render the. Uh, doesn't render the full surface polygon. Or, or whatever it is, full surface curve. It's just doing it as a faceted things. I don't know my lingo for all that rendering jazz. Cool. Zoom in 3D works differently than it does in 2D. If I move my cursor over to this corner and then scroll mouse wheel in it doesn't uh, automatically go to that um, center on that location now this is pretty dumb see that's 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 render fail right there 
I mean, why the hell? <laughs> it knows there's a hole there, right? It knows there's a hole there. Why is it showing you the copper? That's that's just it's, it's just wrong. <laughs> it's, just, it's just wrong. <laughs> I, why? The humanity. Why? Why? Why are some legs different color to others? I assume that's part of the 3D model for that part. No biggie. It's pretty groovy though, isn't it? Oh. I just changed the mask color, did I? No? No, it just gets black. It gets dark when you because it's full source shading or whatever it is. Yeah. Put it into realistic mode. Oh. Silly me. It's not realistic. Like I expected 3D mode to be realistic by default. Like, you know. <coughs> right, there you go. Okay. Right. Cool bananas. All right, there we go. Right. I assume it stays as realistic mode when you... Oh, no, but because it's a separate thing like this, you just move it off and it's already stayed there. They're like separate programs. Reload board. Create PNG image. Nice. Exactly what you want. <sighs> all right, so you can get rid of piss off that 3D axis thing and all that sort of crap when you want to do a nice model. And um, okay, turn off your layers, turn off your silks. Cool, cool bananas. None of that 3D grid rubbish. All right. Nice. Yeah, adhesive layers. Like, that's paste, right? Yet they had paste different in the 2D one, didn't they? No, yeah, look, they sold solder paste layers. Can someone tell me what's the difference between a paste and an adhesive? Oh, it, it, of course. Silly me. Um, sorry. That's that's actually quite good. That's uh, pick and place adhesive. Of course, they've got that built in. That's nice. It's got to be. I've 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 got to be right about that one. It's easy as glue. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SMD glue. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> figured that out on my own eventually. Yeah, normally, um, yeah, it's you know you wouldn't expect that to be in the CAD um, package. Normally, you um, you know. Oh, well, it's where it should be, but, you know, no, that's, that's great that they've added that. Fantastic. Okay. Groovy. Great for double-sided load. You know, you'd rarely use adhesive for, like, a single-sided load. You just don't really, you know, <laughs> if your parts are flying off your board, then, you know, moving around your board <laughs> on a single-sided uh, reflow, then you've got, you know, got problems. Oh, mate, you could have surface tension problems, you know. For a uh, a part that's not uh, a part that's not um, symmetrical, you know, like that that pulls in one direction and look, you can flip it over. Or if you got tombstone, in, you know, you might have a yeah, yeah, no, you, you no, I stand corrected again. I'm just talking out my ass. Um, no, if you've got a, uh, a you know a really thick board with you know a big two ounce copper on there and it's going to really absorb the heat during the uh, reflow reflow process so it doesn't cool down fast at all so you can get pads that those ground planes can really uh really retain the heat really sink the heat and then if you've got pa other tiny pads and if you've got a you know a component that's on a big high thermal mass pad and a little thermal mass pad you can you know can tombstone up because one cools quicker than the other it overcomes the surface tension and boop, your uh resistor goes erect there's nothing worse than an erect resistor let me tell you. And, um, yeah, that will ruin your day. And then that's, you know, if you've got those, then you may want to, uh, may want to just paste everything, even on your single layer. It's a matter of course. 
yeah, Piet, yeah, some assemblers might just do it as a matter of course. <clears throat> yeah. I like sniffing adhesive. It's got to be the genuine 3M. Oh, that one hung low adhesive rubbish. <clears throat> yeah, your resistor's suddenly happy to see you. Oh, yeah, I can tell many a story about uh, tombstoned parts. You know, one day before a trade show, you know, get our board back from the assembler and, you know, you got 200 resistors all tombstoned. Anyway, damn right, 3M's the best. They make good shit. Anyway, that's a 3D viewer, okay. It's just, you know, like first time user, like you think, you know, what's this photo realistic? I, I would have found it. I would have eventually gone to the menu and then just went, oh, what's realistic mode? Of course, you know. <clears throat> anyway. Uh,. Yeah, it's like, you know, I just get the vibe that, um, you know, KiCad comes from the, you know, it's just a lot of sort of legacy back in the old days of, oh, it's got to run on, you know, you know, Hercules graphics card or something, you know, and it's like, and it's got to, um, hands up if you ever did CAD on a Hercules graphics card, that was the bomb, that was the bomb. Yep, and uh, story time. Was I in the middle of a story again and got sidetracked? Uh, yep. Hercules graphics card. Doubt the project would load with version 5. Really? Have they got import issues, have they, from previous versions? Really? It wouldn't have just loaded into version 5? Might have to try that. Might have to secretly install version 5. The only reason I'm trying KiCad now is because I want to convert this board, um, basically. How do, how, how do I jump? How, what's the hotkey for full board? What, what's the hotkey that just centers my board on the screen and maximizes it? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Come on. Come on. What our sheet? Oh, God, isn't the red on black terrible? It's terrible, Muriel. Oh, by, by default, it puts the version number there, does it? Okay. Oh, home, really? Ah, oh, well, there you go. Call me impressed. Home. Fantastic. End. What does end do? Nothing, thankfully. It ends the program. Page up, page down. Page up, page down is your, uh, is it just, just your, oh, there you lay a pairs. <coughs> okay. That, that's what the layer pair business was about up here. What is it? Um, it was, um, I did the, I, I had uh, la active layer selections. Right, right. Okay. So you can only, only choose two, can you? Right, so if I go VCC and ground, and now if I go home, page up, page down, nah, nah, it's hard-coded to front and back copper. Okay. I would have thought that that would have made sense is that you could like select like a it's 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 like the um you know the swap the channel swap key on your TV you know if you're like swapping between two programs you can you know press the channel swap key and it just swaps between the last two like the two favorited things um yep F3 if it screws the render more inconsistencies eh. But no, no, like I, I'm, I think I'm much more impressed with this one than what I was uh, with the previous um, version. 
I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch my video. I don't. I absolutely don't recall. But um, no, I, I'm reasonably impressed by this. Uh, any criticism I have is, uh, you know, just minor, really. Um, design rules. Uh, oh, gonna... <sighs> and me. You can go to town with the design rules, I guess. 3D shapes, libraries, high and interactive routing. I haven't tried the routing yet. I'm not here to try routing. What I wanted to do is, um, well, actually, what I want to do now is <coughs> basically what I want to do here is just delete all of the, um, uh, you know, th right, there's uh, several things off the top of my head I want to do here. I want to get all the power net, right? So I want to highlight. All the VCC net, for example, what have they called the net here? H have they called it H? Really? Have they called it H and L? Really? Um, right, hang on. How, how do I change the net? Like, I'm in there, I'm editing a track. How do I change the net if I want to do it manually? <clears throat> Give me the power. I have the tools. I have the I, I have the talent. I want the tools. Right. I well, can do layers and all that sort of jazz. But um, yeah, I want to um. Yep, I want to change them all, and then I want to um change the uh, the via. Oh, I did it that time. Double click worked. Is that because it's not on a track? A via on a track. It works. It wasn't working before. You see, it wasn't working. What what have I changed? I've obviously changed something. I'm not in single layer mode. I'm not in single layer mode. I, I, there's three objects there, and now I double click on it. It's I swear it's working different before. I'm I'm not going crazy, am I? In design rules. Well, yeah, in design. Yeah, I wanna. So I want to um select in design rules. What? No, no. I just. How do I select? Somebody tell me. How do I select all of this H net? Where's 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 my schematic? I assume they called it. Uh, didn't they call it H? No, no. The net is VCC and ground. The net is VCC and ground. As you'd expect. So why? If the v net is VCC and ground, why is the net in here called H? Anyone? That that doesn't make sense. I get, <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all. You. Somebody's talking you. You is unselect everything. No, see, it still it, it it still clicks. Ah, oh, H is for hole. View list net. Filter net names. Like it it's like where's the back button? Like where's the back button on that? Like, you know, really, like, really basic stuff like that, right? H, net 091H, right? It hasn't selected it. How do I select it? I want to select all of net H so that then, once they're selected, I want to press delete and have every net that's highlighted 
U selects the entire net. All right. So if I go in here, do I do? How does U select the entire? U you on a track. U does everything. U does nothing. I'm sorry. It's not like control U or something like that, is it? No. U does everything. People are trolling me, right? Yeah, they're acted. Yeah, they're labeled H and L, but in the schematic here, right? In the damn schematic. Those VCC, they're 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 bloody nets, right? Oh, or is that just a label? Is that just a label? Right, so they haven't actually Oh, sorry. Right. They're actually net names. Oh, okay. That works quite okay. Right, so that's like an equivalent in Altium would be like a text label instead of a net name. See, that for all the world looks like a net name associated with that. Okay, so you if you want to give something a net name, you've got to actually put What the hell is that? Global label. A global label? It's called a label instead of a net name? Seems inconsistent. Yeah, no, I that's thoroughly confusing. You shouldn't I No. No, 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 no. Look, if you go into one of the other sheets over here, right? These here, what are these? They they they're just text. See? Like that to me is just is well, okay, no, that that's descriptive text. Okay, you may want to add that. Okay. So they put okay, L is low. Right, net C, okay. Right. So a global label is equivalent to a net name. No, H is for high, because we're it's a digital logic circuit. H is for high, L is for low. You know. I yeah, I do I've I've never seen that before on a on a s on a schematic. Somebody labeled the rails that, you know, it should just be labeled ground and VCC. That's that's just insane. Um you know, but but these guys aren't um they this this was uh, by the way, this was their first ever board, I believe. They told me. Um, this was their first ever board, so hats off. It's a really good job. It's a really thorough job. It took them a long time to figure out. They they learnt all this. They they learnt KeyCAD and they learnt everything else. Um, so you know, I, look, I don't want to take anything away from them. It's uh, <coughs> it's very good. But anyway, yeah, L. See, see, because yeah, now look, the problem here is that you know, ground is ground, right? Like, ground is ground. So how can ground be, like, yeah, see? Like, there's three things mixed here. Like, we've got a ground, we've got the symbol, and then the, yeah, but this up here is not a net. It's just a, it's just a lay, or is a label, anyway. Yeah, and then, the, or, is that glo or is that global label overwrite the other ones? So if we didn't have the global label there, if we deleted the H and the L, I'm presuming it would default to ground. Am I right? <clears throat> so, yeah, maybe KeyCAD's letting you do too much stuff here. Maybe it's too flexible for its own good. Eh. Yeah. No, I don't want to configure my own shortcuts. I want to use, like, the, the, the same as everyone else. Like, it's just bullshit. Anyway. Um, yeah, all right, That that's just thoroughly, yeah, that's thoroughly confusing. Anyway, does anyone know 
how I can... Come on, please. No, I don't think anyone's told me yet. People were screaming, you, 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 and I'm pressing you, and nothing happens. How do I select this entire net? I want to select this entire net. List nets, okay? So, H, right? And then I can't do... What, what can I do to that? Select net. There it is. Select net. So I'm selecting the net. Where is the net highlighted? I want the whole thing to highlight all over the board. Why doesn't it do that? Highlight net. Yay! I figured it out myself. There you go. That's what I want. See, why didn't it do that? Why didn't it do that before? That's just crap. All right. Press my home button. I like the home button. That's pretty sweet. And the good thing about the home button is that they they thought about it. It just ignores the um, schematic. It ignores the sheet. It ignores the mechanical. Um, geez, that red is awful. It ignores the mechanic. Um, ignores all that and just does your board outline plus your component silks as well that are outside the board. Beautiful. Anyway, so I've highlighted all those. If I press delete, wah, 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 wah. ah, right, so I've highlighted again within there, like, I've highlighted, how do I, okay, next thing, how do I delete all of my selected objects? Edit, preferences, uh... how do I delete all my, Selected objects. Right click. Right clickety doo da. I like the fact that it doesn't. Okay. Delete. Like, it does it delete? It know. It should know that it's a copper connection. Whole net. Oh, there you go. I could have just done that. I could have just done that. And that does the whole net. Hey, sweet. Okay. Right. So if I delete. Yeah! Figured out how to do it myself. There you go. And all our nets show up. Brilliant. There you go. That's what I want. That's what I want. And then I can do my um, all my um, L's. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what do I know? <laughs> okay. Everything else is... Um, no. No. No, because it's a ground plane. How do I... How do I... Okay. How do I delete my ground plane now? Hey, thank you very much. Five euros. GM Polo... Oh, G... <laughs> GM Polo... Usby. I'm sorry. Can't pronounce that to save my life. Well, I'm going to build my own CAD with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the CAD. <laughs> uh, oh, like, what's his name? Uh, um, no. Um, I was going to say the guy's name who did Earthen View. It's not him. Um, who's the who's the guy who did AutoCAD? AutoCAD ripped off totally ripped off the um, name AutoCAD from Altium, and um, Altium tried to sue him or whatever, or they told him cease and desist, and um, he went screw you, you don't own the trademark on uh, you'd never trademarked AutoCAD, so I'm using it, <laughs> and they just went all right. <laughs> uh, what's his name? God, we've had a few run-ins over the years, and he wrote his own. CAD pocket, like sole, you know, sole author of his own AutoCAD package. Anyway, very strange package. Strange dude. But hats off to him for writing it all himself. You have to delete the zone outline. Oh yeah. First of all, I'm I'm in I'm on my bottom copper. I don't, why is there a track there? See, like I can't even get to um. Why, like I used to be able to highlight that. 
front copper. Yeah. <coughs> I can see that this package isn't going to be too bad when, when you get used to it. You know, a few days learning curve. You get used to like I I why is there a track on there if there's a ground fill? Maybe they did all the tracks first. And then flood filled it. Hey, thank you very much. Framinga. Right ah oh, right right on the border. Right on the border. Gotta be No? I'm um, I'm right on the border there. That's the oh okay. They've dragged it to there and it's got a pullback. Does it? Does it have a pullback? It's got a pullback. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks. Yep. Go to bed. Yeah. I am tired. It is eleven p.m. Yep. Anyway, I just wanted to figure out how to do this. Um. Yep. So there you go. Gonski. Ha. <laughs> So I, I presume there's like a pullback setting. I don't know if they call it pullback. But there you go. There you go. I'm now. Hey, why why don't the... Uh, okay. Oh, no. Right. I can go... Um, what was it? Um, um, what was it? Highlight. Net. Oh, there's still some um, ground layers. There's still some, um, what was it? Select whole, whole net. There you go. So we now want to kill that. We, we now want to kill all that. Because we don't need our ground anymore. Okay. Look at that. It's all hickledy pickledy, isn't it? So uh, we can we'll kill all that. It doesn't show, our, oh yeah, it does show our ground nets. Yeah, that there they are. Oh, yeah, because we're still in, uh, what's he not mode? No, we're not in, um. Anyway. Right. So now, how do I assign? Where's my, uh. I still haven't figured out layer pair. Um. What was the, um. Where was the layer track manager? Again, <laughs> I forget. Sorry, <laughs> where's the layer track manager again? It's not in design rules, tools. Uh, God, I forget where it is. This is. This nets. Someone's going to tell me. It's 11 p.m. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, you really want? You're going to keep throwing more money at me? I'll, uh, I'll stay here until until I get rich. <clears throat> it's under design rules, is it? Did I miss it? Oh, layer setup. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I totally missed it. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep, it's exactly where I expected it to be. Okay. Yeah, it's not a signal layer. It's a power layer. Oh, I expected to be able to select the net here. I expected to be able to select the net. How do I select the net? Do I have to call it H? Surely I don't have to call it H. I don't, I don't have to give it the net name. That would be, that would be silly. I want to assign... Copper layers type free, free, free power layers are removed from free routers layers menu. Okay, no, it, it looks like it doesn't really have an effect on that. I want to be able to assign. Come on, someone tell me how do I assign a uh, <clears throat> sign a net to the copper plane. And presumably you can do split planes and stuff, but I, I I just want two solid planes. That's the good thing about this design. There's no there's no dicking around. I just want a VCC plane and a ground plane. In this case, a H and a V, H and a what is it? H and L, high and low. I can make some tutorial videos. Yeah, got to know what I'm talking about first. 
Uh, I'm not going to uninstall Altium anytime soon. <clears throat> Once you create it, what? Come on, someone help me out so I can go home. I'm not going to be able to go home unless I figure this out. It's going to haunt me. New zone outline. Oh, I've got to do a zone outline again. Okay, so you can't just assume. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, so that's just how you do the planes. Right. You've just got to draw your own plane. Okay, it's just right. Okay. Oh, I, I could have just swapped the others. I could have just taken the um. The other ones, and then just and change the layers they're on. Okay, so how do I uh, how do I create a a polygony here? Add footprints, add tracks and vias, add field zone. That's it. And don't want to keep out area, so I want to. We're on the ground. Yep, we're on the ground layer now. Oh, I'll pull it back. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Ground is L. You betcha. Here's where the zoom in option is good. Where you go down like this, and then you just scroll your mousy wheel, and uh, it zooms in. To the point you want that's what you want yeah yeah baby who's your daddy look at that yep bob's your uncle look at that so it's uh yeah oh there's some uh clear oh yeah no it's made it all the way through okay it's all automatically done the thermal reliefs Okay, no wackers. There you go. Ha, done. I should probably like save this or something. Although I've probably done a lot of dicking around. Maybe I should just start. Um, save copy as. No name. Oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> Gigatron. Full layer. Keycad PCB. Save. Ta -da. Copied. <clears throat> oh, okay, right, because it... Okay. I oh, see it didn't default the name. So I did save as, and it just saved a copy. And then it's just defaulted back to Gigatron. I don't... Yeah, anyway. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. Cool bananas. I basically figured out what, what I wanted to do. It was really easy. It wasn't hard at all. And it would have taken a lot less time. Like, what have I been doing? Like, two hours? Is this like a two-hour stream? You know, I've been dicking around. It probably would have taken me, you know, half an hour to figure that out. Like, without reading the manual or anything. Uh, without doing any tutorials or anything else. I would have figured that out pretty quick. Pretty quick smart. Because I was taking the lazy option and just asking people rather than looking, just systematically looking and using my uh, intuition. Oh, that's not, not good. That's a polygon, not a true power plane. There is a difference. Well, I created a power plane, yet people said I had to do the polygon, right? You don't like the jerk? No, I like the jerkiness of the... I hate things that sort of like velocity zoom control for me. It's like piss off. It's like the new version of Office does that. Oh, does the new version of Office piss me off? Microsoft Office. I just re I just changed back from uh, LibreOffice to Microsoft Office for a couple of reasons. And I, I haven't used the new version. I hadn't used the new version of Office. And it's like, all this... Touchy feely freaking velocity zoom control bullshit. <clears throat> nope, I'm not going to reroute any caps. I'm going to keep everything exactly the same as it is. And I'm just going to like stitch everything down to the ground plane and the power plane. So, uh, yeah. So, what do I do? So, like, I bet. 
okay, like I thought I cr like I created a power plane layer, right? Here it is, internal copper layer, right? I created the internal copper layer, and people said I couldn't assign a net to it, like just do an overall layer and then have it do automatic pullback from the board edge, like a, like a professional package would do that. It'd know there's your board outline and you can set the pullback from the um of the of the plane. Um, <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Try pressing escape. Oh, yeah, probably. No, escape doesn't do anything. Well, whatever. Um, anyway, come on, tell me. Whoever said that uh, bad news for doing the polygon? Why? Other people were telling me that the polygon was the way to do it. And it seems to be the way to do it. There's nothing inherent. I can't see anything inherently wrong with create with whacking the polygon on your your power plane. What's the problem with that? Does it cause a problem when you render to uh, Gerber? Does it, you know, does the plane like override it or some bullshit like that? I don't want to make the polygon bigger than the board outline. No, I don't. I want to make it smaller. It's called pullback. And it's a trap for young players. If, you, if your power planes extend right to the edge of the board and the board is cut, the board is routed in there, you can, the copper is right along the edges of your board and a very thin pre-preg in there where your um, copper is and they can is short your internal layers out you always got to do pullback on your polygon so either there's two ways to do that one is to do exactly what i did here and manually like don't go to the edge don't drag it right to the board edge right don't don't create that polygon right to the edge here right because then you're going to come a gutsa Unless there's some automatic pullback setting in the software somewhere, which I don't know if there is yet. Maybe someone can uh, actually clarify that. The other way is to just not do polygons, just set your plane and then have the software do the automatic pullback <clears throat> from the board edge. Power planes have more space between each pad. This allows more copper... Well, no. Well, maybe by default... But surely that's that's configurable, so they you can configure them both the same, Brian. Surely. Yes, it does it automatically. Okay, pull back. Yep. Oh, you yeah, know, I said that at the start. I didn't know. I said that at the start of dicking around with this. I noticed that it did automatic pullback. Actually, noticed that. But why? There's absolutely no difference between me doing it manually and letting it do automatic pullback. There's absolutely no difference. Just total, total semantics. <clears throat> yeah. Did Dave just forget the polys he deleted five minutes earlier? <laughs> yeah, I did. Because at the time, I I didn't know that uh, that polygons were the way that I could have I could have just kept the existing polygons. And uh, swapped them. Or do you mean the thing I just talked about, which was the... Uh... <laughs> anyway. Um... Photos coming on your forum link. Look, uh, Brian, I think I know exactly what you're talking about, mate. Thank you. Um, I think I know exactly... In fact, I guarantee I know. Um... <clears throat> Select the plane and check it has the net assigned. Well, how do I... Um, yeah, the plane does. The plane does. See, I, I don't like the fact that I can't select that plane except on the edge. Right? I, I really don't like that. Jeez, it's slow when the polygon's selected. Whoa! This is heavy. See? See, I don't like the fact that there's nothing else there on the board. There's absolutely nothing else except the polygon, and I can't just select the polygon. 
I, I, I can't double it. It's like it doesn't exist. And I'm not in single layer mode. Am I? Was I? No? 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 Well, I wasn't in single layer mode. And I'm on that layer. I'm on that layer. I've got that layer selected. And it doesn't... I, I, I don't like that at all. I don't... That's just... It's just dumb. It should it should know. Wow, that is slow. See how do how do I even like I selected that? How do I even click on it and get the info? That's just dumb. Wow. Yeah. Uh, some annoying things in here. Oh, E for edit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. E for edit. There you go. L, yeah, I've got the net select. There you go. No wackers. <clears throat> there, there's your thermal relief connection. Somebody wanted to know about thermal relief. That was easy. It's in the obvious spot that it should be. Um, unless you want to do it on a pad-by-pad -pad basis, if that's what you're talking about. Um, and there's... Oh, they've actually got different categories for thermal relief and through-hole thermal. That's interesting. What's the difference? Nothing. Nothing. It's exactly the same as before. Yeah, selection's a bit quirky. Selection's a bit quirky. But yeah, I don't like the shortcut, like E for edit, and you know, the shortcuts are good. Yes, just gotta learn them. No, it's this E and Keycad's getting pretty good. This is this is not bad. I could uh, I could certainly work with this. You know, give me a couple of days and I'm I'm cooking with gas. You know, so groovy. All right, well I'm done. It's like quarter past eleven. There you go home. Got to do the washing up. <laughs> do some more stuff. So anyway, that's me dicking around with uh, KeyCAD for a couple of hours. Thanks for helping out, everyone. Yeah, I haven't. I I know I haven't added a VCC plane yet. It's okay. It's all right. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, really? If I go to no, I mean um. I'm in F11 mode. I'm 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 in F11 mode. Look, you mean if I go to nine F F9? No, F9 doesn't work either. I can't double click on that. I can't do diddly squat with that, and I find that absolutely ludicrous. I find that ridiculous. Anyway, uh, maybe it's because these nets are bloody highlighted or some crap, right? How do I unhighlight all the nets? People said U or something or escape. But that, you know, that doesn't work. Clean up. No, global deletion. Oh, that's nice to know. And, um, yep, no. Select. There's no select menu, is there? Hmm. Anyway, yeah. <coughs> Keycad hotkeys PDF. Yeah, I should print it out and do it. But you know, I'm 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 pretty much done. Like I, <laughs> I just got to add the extra polygon and and Bob's your uncle. Like I shouldn't have to do anything as long as I don't touch anything else. Um, I should just be able to, like, all I want to do is delete those two nets, ground and power, high and low. Add add the two extra layers which I've done VCC and ground, and then assign the nets to them, and Bob's your uncle. Right, so you know, but maybe I can edit this into a a thing. I don't know, like a video. Yes, you have to click on the edge of the polygon. I find that that's that's infuriating. Take the highlight tool and click on empty space. I don't even know where the highlight bloody tool is. Highlight net. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, fair call. Still doesn't work. 
Still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. H mode. I'm even on that layer. I'm bloody well on that layer. And I can't double click on that. All right. Like, come on. Come on. Like, that's just ludicrous. Like, I can do that. I can do it to, you know, pads and tracks and vias and... And I can't double click on that polygon. I'm gonna to go to the edge. That's just dumb. That's dumb. Who designed that? I'm not gonna go in there and change the source code. Seriously, if you go in there and change the source code to KeyCAD and compile your own version, you're doing it wrong. Bloody hell, that's just, it's ludicrous. No. Feedback through the correct mechanisms, get the, you know, the dev team to change. Like, if it's, you know, like, like that's that's just seriously dumb, you know, and, and some other things I've found in there that are just silly. You know, the, those limitations shouldn't exist. You shouldn't have to do that. But, you know, I know there's thousands of these things. I could probably, you know, or hundreds you know, I could go through hundreds of little quirks like this. There's just almost an infinite combination of things. So, you know, you can't expect them to, like, get everything perfect. Like, you know, packages like Altium have been doing it for, you know, what, 30 years? How old, how old is it? 85. So it's like uh, 40 years, is it? 85? Yeah, there's something. No, 30 years or whatever. And, um... Yeah, and, and it still, you know, doesn't do some base, you know, some things that you might expect, you know. So, um, yeah, it's definitely getting better. Electron Ash. Damn right, it's a valid complaint, Dumble. <laughs> I'm going to bitch. Well, this, uh, you know, look, this, this, this used to be my job. You know, there's probably, like, there's very few people... <laughs> Around, you know, I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I'm technically this. This used to be my job was to use cat packages and tell and tell and feedback, um, you know, usability. And you know, often they they didn't listen, of course. But you know, that, that was a different reason. But technically, that was my job, or well, one part of my job anyway, <clears throat> was to you know do usability of cat packages. Anyway, yeah, I'm finishing. <clears throat> Paper cuts, and you can report them to the project page so devs can fix it, really. They're called paper cuts. It's kind of groovy. Yeah, Alt Alt Altium first came out in, uh, or are you talking about KeyCAD? KeyCAD's probably very old, too. Yeah, KeyCAD, 26 years old. Yeah, no, it doesn't surprise me. At all. Yes. This is the Windows version. Anyway, like... I'm sure I'll find lots of little things like that, but no, they're like on the surface, this looks very usable. This looks very usable. I reckon in a couple of days I could be laying out boards like there's no tomorrow. You know, there's always, unless you're, but you know, you can't learn everything in a CAD package in a couple of days. It's like as you need things, you find them. As you need that feature, you know, that that um, thing to do, you would you would learn it. So. <clears throat> Really, PCB Viewer looks almost like Altium. Did they hire... Um... <laughs> Actually, yes, I heard... Yeah, didn't they hire him? Yes, Altium... Um, yeah, the Eagle hired a couple of Altium, ex-Altium people. Uh, although, if you're talking about the uh, 3D stuff, I... A um, friend of mine, um, I got him the job at Altium, um, and he, did, he rewrote all their 3D engine. Rewrote all of Altium's 3D engine. Don't know what he's doing these days. I haven't uh, seen him for a long time. Anyway, cool, everyone. Thanks for joining me. That's all I'm going to do tonight. I just wanted to get up to speed and see if it was uh, easy or hard. And that was relatively easy. Like, as I said, if I wasn't doing this live stream, I, I, I would have had what I wanted to do, do done 30 minutes under an hour, you know, that's, that's great, you know, um, so yeah, that was, you know, that was no drama at all, really, 
yeah, it's still quirky, but I don't know, kind of like it. It's all right, but I'm not going to switch anytime soon, that's for sure. I just don't need to. Why? I've been mean, using Altium all my life. I've got an Altium license. Why would I, uh, you know, why why should I use KiCad? But in this case, I have to because the uh, files are in here. And it just gave me a good excuse to have another play with it. So, anyway, there you go. I'm off. Thanks for joining me, everyone. And I will... Um, oh, by the way, I found out why... There's a four. There's an eight-hour limit on these live streams. If you go over eight hours, um, YouTube won't save them at all. Anyway, I've done the two two hours, so it won't be the. So it'll take like two day, two three days to actually transcode the thing and add the two because it does it in two hour blocks. So you only get the last two hours if you're playing this back. So, anyway, all right. Thanks, guys. I'm out of here. Catch you next time.